Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is George Committee. As we analyze a simply supported beam so that we can plot the shear force and the bending moment diagram. So ladies and gentlemen, we had already plotted the shear force diagram for our simply supported beam. The next thing we are going to do is to uh, clearly mark the position of the maximum bending moment and determining its value. Remember, when bending moment is maximum, shear force is zero. Therefore, at this point, this is the line of origin, the zero line. So you can clearly see that this will be the position of maximum bending moment since that is the point where shear force is zero. Therefore, we are going to uh, plot or to draw a, a line that is passing through this point uh, whereby shear force is zero so that we can determine the distance from uh, this point E all the way to the point whereby the shear force is zero. Now for us to get, uh, to get uh, the, the position of the maximum bending moment, we are going to use what we call similarity method. So in this case, we have two right angle triangles here. Those are two right angle triangles. And in this case, we can uh, call this point A, that point B, this is going to be point C, that is going to be point D, and this point here is going to be point E. Now, using similarity methods, we are going to say this. This is the base of this triangle, and this is the base of this triangle, and this is its height. This is the base of this triangle, and that is its height. Therefore, we are going to have the base of this triangle, let me call it triangle 1 and this one triangle 2, the base of this triangle 1 which is AC divided by its height which is AB, A to B, will be equal to the base of triangle 2 which is CD all over the height of triangle 2 which is DE. Therefore, DE. Now, A to C, the length from A to C, we don't uh, clearly know that distance. Therefore, we are going to have A to C all over. The distance from A to B will be 2.5 units. Remember, from this point of origin all the way to this point B, that is 2.5 kilonewtons meaning that those are 2.5 units. Therefore, we are going to have AC over 2.5 is equals. The distance from C to D, we also don't know the value of that distance. So we are going to have CD all over. The distance from T, uh, D to E is going to be 1.5 units because uh, the distance from this point of origin all the way to this point is 1.5 kilonewtons, which in other words would be 1.5 units, so over 1.5. Now, for us to get, uh, since we cannot work with two unknowns, for us to get the distance from C to D, we can take the distance from A to D, which is 2 meters, then we subtract the distance from A to C, which will give us the value of C to D. Therefore, CD will be given by AD minus AC. And that is going to be A to D is 2 meters, but A to C, we don't know its value. Then we substitute this CD at that point there. So we are going to have AC divided by 2.5 is equals C to D, which is 2 minus AC all over 1.5. Then from there, we cross multiply. We cross multiply in this form. Therefore, 1.5 AC will be equal to 2.5 into bracket 2 minus A to C. So this is going to give us 
1.5 AC is equals, open the brackets at this point, 2.5 times 2, that will be 5, minus 2.5 AC. Then, I take 2.5 AC, this side of the equal sign, to give me 1.5 AC plus 2.5 AC is equals 5. 1.5 AC plus 2.5 AC, that is going to be 4. Therefore, 4 AC is equals 5. To get the value of AC, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. Therefore, by 4, 1, by 4, 1. AC is going to be 1.25 meters. 1.25 meters. So the distance from this point uh, from point D up to the point of maximum bending moment will be 1.25. The other distance from E to the point of maximum bending moment is going to be, uh, we can call that point uh, M, we can call that point M. Therefore, the distance from E to M is going to be 2 meters minus 1.25 meters and in this case this is going to give you 0 0.75 meters therefore therefore the position of maximum bending moment so maximum bending moment position is equals 0 0.75 meters from point E from point E so ladies and gentlemen that is how we usually determine the position of maximum bending moment the next lesson we are going to uh, calculate the bending moment uh, calculations at each and every point of our beam and then use those calculations to plot the bending moment diagram Thank you for watching our video. Thank you for liking it, sharing it. Please don't forget to subscribe and also to hit the subscription as well as the notification bell. Thank you very much.